My name is Malika Favorite. Actually, it's Barbara Malika Favorite. I'm from Geismar, Louisiana, in Ascension Parish. Uh, my father was instrumental in starting Lean, and so it's kind of personal for me because of his connection and because of his concern for the environment, which really helped me to respect the environment and to want to do what I can to, not just for the local environment and the ecosystem, but also for the people in the area. As an artist, a lot of my, especially my, my current work, deals with the environment, loss of habitats. So it comes, for me, it comes out in my art, it comes out in my writing, I write poetry. And uh, so it comes out in my poetry, comes out in my paintings. Any environmental focus is important for my community, for the state, and for the country. Because as much as we'd like to pretend that all is well, all is not well, and that's very evident with the overall picture, the overall global picture of the earth and, and what's happening to it. So we, we are responsible, and we are also responsible for passing on that knowledge to the next generation because they are responsible. And unless they understand their responsibility, you know, we may as well forget it because they are inheriting the earth. And what they do with it is a part of our responsibility to make them aware that, you know, look, you got to do something. You can't just sit here and enjoy all this good stuff and hope that somebody takes care of it. You have to be the somebody. We have to be the somebody. And I appreciate Lean for being the somebody. We are in Cancer Alley. We have a lot of chemical plants along the river road, and there's a lot of emissions going on, but uh, people sort of ignore it. I think they've gotten used to it, and of course there are a lot of jobs, and a lot of people here work for the chemical plants. So that, um, there's kind of a disconnect. I think a lot of people in the area don't really think about it until something happens. If something happens, we get, upset and we talk about it and then it's over and we forget about it again. And so I think educating the, the, the people in the community is one important thing that Lean can do. And the other thing is to, to keep a constant watch on the chemical plants to see what they're doing, what, they're, what emissions they're uh, sending into the air, and exactly all the underhanded things they may be doing that we don't know about because we as regular people, we are not aware of what a lot of things mean. You know, if they say, oh, we're, we're only going to do uh, this amount of emissions and it's no problem, we just assume that's okay. So we depend on lean to help us better understand what we're getting into and how it's affecting our bodies as well as our environment. <laughs>